Ovarian cancer is the second most common gynecologic cancer in the United States. Um, it affects about 22 to 25,000 U.S. women per year. So ovarian cancer is tricky because the symptoms that women uh, typically have uh, tend to be very nonspecific. Most women um, will have symptoms such as bloating, um, mild abdominal pain, changes with their bladder, which they might attribute to other things, food intake, bladder infection, gastrointestinal disorders before really discovering that they may have an ovarian cancer. With ovarian cancer, there are actually not a lot of known risk factors. Probably the most uh, common risk factor, which isn't that common, is genetics. Approximately 15 to 20 percent of ovarian cancer is uh, caused by a genetic mutation that's passed down in families from generation to generation, which in and of itself isn't a huge portion, uh, but it actually, if you think about it in terms of cancer genetics, it represents a fair amount of uh, women with ovarian cancer who have a genetic mutation that they may not have known about. We know now that any woman who's diagnosed with ovarian cancer should undergo genetic counseling and genetic testing for the two most common mutations, which are BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutations. However, there also is a larger panel of genetic mutations, some of which were developed here at the University of Washington with Dr. Swisher, called a BRCA test, which um, encompasses a more robust um, panel of genetic mutations than just the BRCA1 and 2. And so we really encourage patients uh, who have a diagnosis of, of ovarian cancer to undergo this BRCA testing um, to get a broad range of what their risk factor for genetic mutation may be. Women with BRCA1 mutations, their lifetime risk of uh, developing ovarian cancer is somewhere around 40%, which is incredibly high. The average woman's risk of a developing ovarian cancer in their, her lifetime is about 1.5%. So it represents a significant difference. If patients are found to have one of these known genetic mutations, it means that um, they are also at risk of developing breast cancer, higher risk of breast cancer later on in life. In addition, their family members may be affected. And so it's very important to then be able to identify family members who might be harboring one of these genetic mutations uh, before they develop cancer. Most women are diagnosed at a later stage. We have a huge problem with being able to diagnose ovarian cancer at either an early stage or at a precancerous stage where we can catch it and deal with it early before it has spread. It's a huge failure um, of the oncology community that we have not been able to find a successful screening strategy for ovarian cancer. So there really aren't any good current strategies per, for prevention of ovarian cancer unless you fall into a high-risk uh, family category and, or have a known genetic mutation. I think there's a lot of hope uh, in some of the novel therapies that are coming out. The data suggests that we're much better at providing better, less toxic therapies to enable patients to live longer, to live with better quality of life, um, and for, for many patients to overcome their cancer.